Now let's take a look at when the coefficient is not one. So when it's not one, you're, you have to first divide each side of the equation, so every term, by a, okay, whatever that coefficient is. So in cases of this class, uh, for algebra two this year, is that you can divide out the a and it'll work out really nicely. Okay, so uh, make sure that you divide by a for everything, and then we're going to deal with it how we did with the previous problems. So example four, solve 3x squared plus 12x plus 15 equals zero by completing the square. So the very so first thing we do is we divide by the a value. So it's really important that in order to complete the square, a has to equal one. Very, very important. Okay, that's just one of the rules of using completing the square. So a has to equal one. We make it equal one by dividing out that a to every single term. So it just divides out, and then so we're not going to write the number because it's just a number, there's no variable, we divided it all. So now we're left with x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals 0. Then we're going to go ahead and complete the square, so the very first step is subtract the imperfect number. So this is x squared plus 4x plus blank equals negative 5 plus blank. Okay, just set it up. Then we find half of b, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then we square it, and that equals 4. So the 4 gets written into those blank spots. On the left side, we factored it, factor it as a squared binomial. So it's x plus, the number we circled was 2, and it is positive, so it is plus, equals, on the right side, we add it. So negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. Then we solve by square rooting. So x plus 2 equals negative 1. That becomes a plus or minus just an i. Then we finish it off by isolating x. So we subtract 2 from both sides. Again, that goes in front of the plus or minus. So the answer is x equals negative 2 plus or minus i. Or you can separate it out. x equals negative 2 plus i. x equals negative 2 minus i. And again, that might be something that Big Ideas asks you to enter. So try out this one example, number 9. As a hint, I would divide by negative 3. Okay, if you tried this out, you divided everything by negative 3. When you did that, you would get x squared plus 6x and then plus 2. Then I need to complete the square, so I subtract 2 from both sides. So this is x squared plus 6x plus, um, and I need to find the plus blank equals negative 2 plus blank. Then I found the perfect number. Divide 6 in half, so that is a positive 3 square it, that equals 9, so I added it to both sides of the equation. Then I factored it on the left side, this is x plus 3, and then squared, equals negative 2 plus 9 is 7. So I draw the arrows just to remind me that I should be adding it. So it's not 9 that goes there, it's the number that I added to whatever was there previously. Then I solve using square roots, so x plus 3 equals plus or minus square root of 7, then I subtracted 3 on both sides. So the final answer is x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 7.